This is the original Samsung Galaxy Note from two years ago. It started what we now know as the phablet category, which is in essence a phone with a five and a half inch screen or bigger. And it also introduced the now infamous S Pen. I currently have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and while it certainly got took some getting used to, I, I grew to appreciate the larger screen. What Samsung has started, though, has become a real revolution to the point where even Apple is um, getting in on the game. And to be honest, that's not a bad thing, because what you see on the far left is the iPhone 5 and 5S. You notice that the device is narrow and tall. Originally, when I got the iPhone 4, I was hoping the iPhone 5 would have a bigger screen. That was not what they came out with, obviously. What I was hoping the iPhone 5 would be was what the iPhone 6 is. However, after two years of utilizing the Galaxy Note 2 and some considerations, which I won't go into here because I've discussed them at length in other videos, um, I have decided to go for the iPhone 6 Plus, as you all know, and I'm surprised that um, more people aren't picking it up. I, I hear it's because of issues with supply and demand. It's not necessarily consumer interest that's the problem. It's the fact that they can't seem to keep up with production. At least that's what I've been reading. I could be wrong. The point is, Apple has even gotten into the, onto this phablet category. And of course, Samsung has been propelling ahead, further and farther ahead, and now we've got something called the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, which I recently saw a review for. This is a brand new device. It does have a bit of a premium over the regular Note 4. And myself, as a left-handed person, I could use it just fine. Here's a catch. You have to turn the phone upside down. And <laughs> think about it. You have your phone upside down, and all of a sudden you get an incoming call, and the screen's right side up, and you answer, and you realize that you've got the earpiece next to your mouth. Right? I don't, I don't expect anybody to actually do that, but who knows? Somebody might actually, who's a lefty, might actually end up doing that. I don't know why. But anyway, the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, which I consider these days to be the oddball of the phablet category. But as I mentioned before, it's now pretty much considered a norm. But the question is, where do you blur the line? We've got the Samsung, the uh, Samsung, the Motorola Builds Google Nexus 6, and there are a couple of other Nexus, the Nexus, there are all, uh, there's only one other six inch device that I'm aware of, and it's by Huawei, and all of a sudden I can't remember its name. I believe it's available on AT&T, but I do not think it's available other than AT&T if you don't want to get it internationally. Um, but the point is, six-inch screen. Again, where do we blur the line? Because this is the six-inch Nexus HD, or ne Amazon Fire HD6. There's so much stuff out there, I'm even getting my names confused now. But no. So... Let's, let's take a look at this. Galaxy Note 5-inch screen. iPhone um, 6 Plus, 5.5-inch screen. We go from a 4-inch screen, 4.5, 5.5, another 5.5, 6. But then we start getting into the tablet category with the 6-inch screens. 7-inch with the Google Nexus 7, 8-inch with the Dell Venue Pro 8, 8.9-inch with the iPad Mini, 9.7-inch with the iPad Air, 10.1-inch with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 Edition, 12.2-inch with the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2, 12.5-inch uh, um, 12 with the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and 13 and 15 inch with the Microsoft or the, the HP X2 slates. Now, 
let's take a look at this again. So we start at 5 inches, slowly building our way up, 6 inches, 7 inches, 8 inches, 9 inches, 10 inches, 12, 13, and 15. Notice how the lines are blurred, because if you think about it, these phablets are no different than these tablets, except they've got phone software built into them. Right? And you've got a five, four inch phone, five and a half inch phone, six inch phone. I think for a short while somebody tried to create a seven inch phone. I can't remember who that was. I thought it was one of the Samsung Galaxy lineup. Took one of their seven inch tablets and loaded it up with the necessary hardware and software to turn it into a phone, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. But the point is, you notice as we continue up this smooth stream, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, and fifteen, fourteen inches. You notice how the lines are becoming blurred because if you think about it, it's all the same. You got your Android, your iOS, your Fire OS, your your Fire OS, your um, Windows. You got Windows Phone, obviously, that are five and a half inch devices. You've got your tablets. They're all pretty much the same. Thanks to the phablet, I do think that the, the, the line between the phone category and the tablet category has blurred to the point where it's no longer like, do you want a phone or a tablet? It's more like, what screen size do you want on your device and do you want to have a phone, so do you want to have phone software built in? Because there's a, there's a very gradual yet very um, linear slope up as we go up these screen sizes from 5 inches all the way up to 15 inches. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. These phablets and an Android tablet, I mean, you obviously get the advantage of extra screen size, but then we've got this 5.5 inch... Um, phone and a six inch phone and yet we've also got a six inch tablet do you see do you see where the lines have become blurred here thanks to six inch phones and six inch tablets this there's a gap that has been filled that I honestly think did not need to be filled um, it's like a continuous smooth flow and like I said before the question is not what's, what, whether or not you want a phone or a tablet. The question has now become, as shown in this example of iPhones, what screen size do you want? Do you want a 4 inch? Do you want a 4.7 inch? Do you want a 5.5 inch? Do you want a 6 inch on a phone? Do you want a 6 inch on a tablet? And do you want the phone software built in? You know? That's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Have the lines have the lines been blurred to the point where you can't tell the difference? Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome and have a nice day.